in this video we are going to discuss about static and dynamic system so when we are discussing the classification of systems itself i told you a short introduction about static and dynamic system that is static system is a memoryless system and dynamic system is a memory system that means it's having some memory so see here static system is a memoryless whereas dynamic is a memory system to explain this i want to consider uh, some examples that means if you given with a system with a particular response if you want to judge that that system is either static or dynamic then you need to do this procedure that means for example i am having a system y of n is equal to x of n this is a system given to you to uh, to say whether this system is static or dynamic then you need to substitute any value of n here then if the system is dependent upon then if the system uh, response at a particular instant of time is dependent upon only present input then we can say that is a static system that means it's not going to depend upon a future or past then no need to maintain memory if there is no memory then definitely the response of a system is said to be static so here y of 0 i am substituting i want to substitute my present time as 0 you can substitute any value here so y of 0 equal to x of 0 so that means for zero time so the input x is nothing but input signal so for the response at t equal to 0 is equal to the present input that means the input signal at t equal to 0 is nothing but present input at t equal to 0 x of 0 will become present input signal so here so this is static system for example if you are having another system so example 2 that is y of t is equal to for example 2 into x square of t for example if you are having this system then if you ask it to find out whether the system is static or dynamic so here also you need to check any value that means so i want to check this time i want to check y of minus t i want to check y of minus t minus 2 so y of minus 2 is equal to 2 x square of minus 2 so here i consider my present time as minus 2 so that is equal to that is dependent upon the response at this time is dependent upon the input signal presented at that particular time only it's not dependent upon its previous values that means uh, x of minus 1 x of 0 uh, x of 1 it's not uh, depend upon its future values as well as it's not depend upon its past past values like x of minus 3 x of uh, minus 4 like that so x of minus 3 will become past signal past input signal uh, in for this response x of uh, minus 4 will become one more pass for example x of 0 is there x of 0 is past uh, present uh, future to x of minus 2 so now here y of minus 2 equal to 2 x square of minus 2 so here the present response only depends upon the present input of the system so here also the system with this response is said to be static system now coming to dynamic system examples here i consider one discrete and one uh, continuous time system so here coming to uh, dynamic system examples so for example if you are having any system with response y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1 like this if you are having any system then if anyone asked you to find out whether the system is static or dynamic then you need to substitute any value in this i want to substitute one here y of 1 uh, substitution of 1 means i am considering my present time as t equal to 1 y of 1 is equal to x of 1 plus x of 1 minus 1 so this is equal to x of 1 plus x of 0 it will become x of 0 we considered our present time t is equal to 1 but if you see x of 0 so for x of 1 at time uh, time t is equal to 1 x of 1 will become our present input signal and x of 0 is the past input signal 
So, here our response at particular instant of time is depend upon present input as well as past input. So, to maintain this past input we need to maintain a memory. So, such type of systems are called as dynamic system. So, this system is dynamic now. So, this is a dynamic system. Now, I am going to consider another example in continuous time systems. So, here y of t is equal to for example, you are given with a system with response y of t is equal to x of t plus x of t plus uh, 3 something they given like this. So, now you need to substitute any value for t that means y of minus 1 I am substituting you can substitute any value. So, y of minus 1 is equal to x of minus 1 plus x of minus 1 plus 3. So, now this is equal to x of minus 1 plus x of 2. So, if you see this equation y of minus 1 equal to x of minus 1 plus x of, my, x of 2. So, for time uh, minus 1 that means when time is equal to minus 1 then your uh, present input will be x of minus 1 and for this x of minus 1 extra x of 2 will be its future input signal. So, here at t equal to minus 1 your response or output is dependent upon present input as well as future input. So, this system is also a dynamic system any system so, any system is dependent upon past or future values that is definitely considered as dynamic system. So, a system which is having only uh, present inputs and uh, present outputs then that is called as static system. It's simply a static system is a memoryless and a dynamic system is a memory system.